Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining me on this mail call. I've got uh, four pieces of mail that have arrived. We're going to have a look through. So first of all we have World Stalker. Um, he contacted me some time ago about sending me some banknotes, so definitely looking forward to that. Uh, there is this one here. Um, I think it is gold washing and pay dirt, but I don't want to write on there if I'm not sure. Uh, Rick G. Um, I did. I think I'd won one of his uh, one of his giveaways. Um, it was the uh, random comments, so I got that. And then Bill J. Version Two said he was going to send something through to me. So uh, this is the first one I've snipped off. So let's take a good look through and um, see what we uh, see what's been sent. That one done. Uh, okay, so he says, enjoy Silver Limey. Um, as promised, a 2019 W quarter. He did say to me in his live stream um, about that. If you guys haven't been to uh, Bill J version 2's live streams, he live streams pretty much every day, majority of the time. Um, lots of awesome people there. Um, he also does a giveaway at the end of each stream, so I'm, I'm putting all the details um, effectively in the description. So you can go straight there if you're not uh, sub to him. And he just recently hit a thousand subs as well, so congrats to that. But let's get this open. We'll see. Uh, as promised, 2019 W quarter. I also gave uh, you one of my favourite coins, the 1971 proof penny minted on brass. Wow, okay. One of the world's most beautiful coins. Barber Dime is just a beautiful coin I wanted to give you. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um... Bill J, really appreciate it, my man. So we're going to crack this open. Let's look at that. Uh, let's look at what he sent us here. Okay, so we have, it looks like he's probably sent me a sticker as well by the looks of it. That's something I can add to my coin wall. So there they are there, and there's his sticker there. Bill J version 2, so that's going on the coin wall. And there are the coins he sent through, which are great. So let's get these let's get these open. All right, there you go on the other side. Wow, that looks like an awesome freaking bunch of coins you sent me there. Uh, Bill, thank you very much, my friend. Okay, sadly, it looks like um, this container here is probably going to... Oh, no, it should be okay. Oh. Okay, so there's the. Wow, jeez. Wow, these are very light. Okay, so there we go. We've got the quarter dollar. There's the W mid mark. Wow. Exactly what that says there, if you guys can make that out. Massachusetts, I think, is it? I'm going to have to look at it again. Yeah, it looks like Mass Massachusetts. Well, that's very nice. I'll put that one down. And then he said he's got this brass penny. There's that there. Wow, it's like a starfish. One cent, 1971. That's a Commonwealth of Bahamas, is it? Yeah, cool. Bahamas, awesome. That oh, looks like a sort of a starfish. Beautiful. And Bill, you really didn't have to include this, my man. Jeepers, look at that. It's that one dime. Wow. Bill J, thank you very much, my friend. 1907. Oh, it's in lovely condition. Thank you so much. Really, that is awesome, my man. I'm going to put these in here. Is that W Mint uh, Quarter. Okay, so I'll put all those together there. Bill J, um, if you guys haven't been to his channel, definitely... Uh, Check him out. Don't forget, I'll put his uh, details in the description as well. Right, so we're moving on to Rick G. Let's get this open. Yep, that's in the usual Rick G form. There we go. One seriously wrapped up coin. 
Um, so let's have a look. He sent me a little letter here. SL79, sorry this has taken me a long, uh, there's so long to mail out. Please forgive me. I can't ever remember what this was uh, from. Only that it had your name on it. <laughs> no, that's all right. It was the um, random comments um, on your on one of your videos. So you have to comment on the video and then you got um, your name obviously got thrown into the random picker. But that's what I remembered it as. Uh, profit is always measured in dollar amounts. Rick, thanks, my man. Let's get this open. Right, there it is. I think it was a, I think it was a ninety percent of. Or we'll double check that. It could be a forty percent. I'm not sure. It'd be definitely one of the two. And then there was a, I think a quarter ounce or tenth ounce um, silver bullion coin. So let's get it open. Right there we have it there. So it's a, it's a ninety percent. So what I tend to do is if I if I tend to win um, or, or obviously win something, um, I actually gave away my ninety percent because I knew I had one coming from Rick based on uh, on on winning his goal. So when I did my um, I had a sort of a quiz uh, quiz game, the fifty questions, I included that as the uh, as the main prize because I was I was getting one, so I just sort of replaced it. So um, I tend to do that. So. Let's get this thing open. Give me a few. Uh, give me a few minutes there. Right there we go. The ninety percent Kennedy. Rick G, thank you very much, buddy. And there's the tenth ounce silver bullion coin. I actually got a Libertad version of one of these. Very in, very cool piece. Golden State Mint. Rick G, thanks, man. Really, that is awesome. So I'm going to have to try and pause this. I'm going to have to try and um, adjust the video. Otherwise, we could, this could be a long one. So I'm going to pause it now, and then we'll get the next one open. This, I think, is gold washed and paid out. We're going to find out in a sec. All right, just in, in regards to Rick G, I'll put his details in the description. So if you haven't uh, been to his channel yet, he does a lot of coin roll hunts. And um, he also does... Um, uh, some buy-in hunts as well, like so you can put money into, and if, obviously if there's any silver, you know, including he's got, an, he's got an awesome. Whenever he does um, his his um, his coronal hunts that you buy into, he's got some awesome prizes that he throws in as well, like so he's he's definitely not shy on that front. So definitely worth a look. I'll put his details in the description. Right, the uh, this is the gold washing and pay dirt. I was correct on this one. There it is, gold washing and pay dirt. Uh, let's have a look. Sure, there's no. All right, so what do we have here? Congrats, congratulations on the uh, on the goal win. There's really nice set of uh, British Armed uh, Forces special vouchers. I also add my channel sticker. Oh well, there we go. Some more stickers for the uh, for the wall. Right, so let's see what we got here. Now, funny enough, I said to Gold Washington Pay that. that um, there's his channel sticker, so I'll put his details in the description there. You guys can hit him up with a sub. Um, I said to him, I actually had one of the uh, um, Italian Occupational Forces vouchers. And uh, my grandfather actually served in the occupation um, of Italy in 1946. Um, when he was old enough. <laughs> but there we go. Look at this. So we've got 50 new pence. Oh, these are like uncirculated. Uh, there's the serial numbers of B1. That'll be first print one. Uh, nice to see a zero on that uh, on that number. Uh, I'll need to check in and see if there's any uh, watermarks on these. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like it's just printed. Okay, so we've got third print run there on A3. 955491. That's the 10 pence. And then there's a 5p. I actually had the 5p uh, British Arms Forces in Italy. Wow. This is great. Issued by the command of the Defence Council. Six series. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a uh, serial number on this one. Special voucher. Okay. Right, so there we have it. That's Gold Washing and Pay Dirt. Thank you very much for doing that giveaway, my friend. I'm glad I won that one. That was awesome. <laughs> and now it's interesting when you see your name come up, you're always like, yes, I can't believe it. Jeez, I actually won something. 
That's fantastic. So uh, go watch Nepeda. Thank you. And likewise with Rick G as well. It's always great when you guys do the giveaways and you're able, well, I'd say you're able to win. It's always great uh, getting something. But um, let's just shift this around so we can still see everyone's uh, bit. So the last one is uh, World Stalker. So uh, let's get this open. Right, there we have it, World Stalker. And now, uh, he had, he'd contacted me and said, like, he was interested in sending me some notes because um, I was always in his channel um, commenting on his on his back notes and particularly his... Um, he said he had some uh, occupational um, Japanese forces paper money, which was worthless back then. Um, but here's what he's, he's given me. So we've we got a letter. We've got three... Wow, awesome stickers there. World Stalker, The Travel, Nismismatics and Silver. So that'll definitely be going on the coin wall, and then I'll uh, include a few there. Um, so, wow, they're really well detailed. Okay, details are in the description, everybody. Right, we've got these, uh, quite a long letter here, so let's have a look. It says, hi, Silver Limey, love your channel, and glad there are people into old notes as well. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not always about silver, uh, not just silver. As promised in my email, I wanted to share a cool collection uh, with you. These are guerrilla notes from World War II in the Philippines. As you can see, some of them say redeem after emergency. Um, and the hope was that either the Philippine governments or the Americans would back these notes once the war was won. Very true. I, I know some of the, um, you do get some of these uh, these banknotes likewise whenever, hopefully they're, they're on the winning side. And um, obviously the banknotes would then be valid if they won that particular fight. Um, so in some circumstances they had, uh, and this is, these are in different countries where they had money and then they were hoping that they were going to win and then they lost. So a lot of people ended up on the wrong side. I suppose it's very similar to the Confederate money, um, in America. Um, again, it says lots of guerrilla groups printed their own currency, driving, uh, driving the war and s and some is now more rarer than others. Okay, that sounds cool. Note the types of paper and inks that were used due to the lack of supplies. I'm sending notes from different provinces and groups. So we've got, uh, uh, looks like Negros, uh, El Ilola, Min Minden Mindanao. The more rare, and the more rare Miss Missimus, and a couple that Japan introduced during the occupation. I do not have videos about my full gorilla collection uh, from now from many more provinces. Some range from two dollars to a thousand each. Wow. Okay. Hope you enjoy, and maybe I'll send you more from the road as I search. Well, wow. Coin Stalker, there he is. He's living in Thailand at the minute. Uh, he's an American fella. I've spoken to him a few times. Um, great guy. Definitely check out his channel. He's got some awesome stuff on that. Um, so be sure to check that out. That'd be awesome. Right, let's have a look. He's got this little awesome sleeve. So, wow, really is paper money. It reminds me of Monopoly money. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the printing on that. 20 pesos. 20 pesos. It's a series of 1908. Wow, was that like a handwritten signature? So, like there's um, someone's signature on the bottom, on the bottom section there. And then we've got, excuse me, here's another one, 20 pesos. That's quite a faded one. Super light. Well, look at that. The governor. Well, it's almost see-through. 10 Philippine pesos. Ah, oh, there it is again. Issued by the authority of the president of the Philippines, this certifies that the Commonwealth of the Philippines will redeem a certificate of face value upon termination of emergency. Series of 1944. 10 pesos. We've got 5 pesos. Uh, Philippine National Bank. Notes of 1943. Well, that's quite a nice piece. Peace bank note. Wow. V for victory. <laughs> v for 5. Um, wow, these are almost like cardboard. 50 centavos. Uh, Philippine National Bank Emergency Circulating Notes, 1942. Well, there's the serial numbers there. 10 centavos. Wow, that's inverted. Interesting. Twenty pesos. 
These are actually flipping nice. Uh, well Stalker. Wow, man. There they are. It says the emergency board is known as redeemable or face value after the emergency. Will not be devaluated or discriminated against. <laughs> wow. There's another one there. Oh, there's another one. 20, 20 pesos. 38865, series 1944. The President of the Commonwealth of the Philippines. So I know this video is getting on a bit long now. It's probably one of the longest um, mail calls I've done. 50 centavos. Wow. It's like a handwritten signature. Well, Stoker, were these, some of these handwritten or hand signed? That's a very light piece. One peso. Two eight eight six zero oh five. Hmm. Wow! Well, look at these here. Just imagine how much money they had to back after they'd after they'd won. Cheap. There must have been loads of it. Like you said, all these gorilla issues. Two pesos. Did they honor all of these banknotes after the war? Or did they, uh. Wow, look at that. Japanese government almost looks like a $5 banknote. The Japanese government. Five pesos. PD. Hmm. Very nice. Uh, what are these? These are something. It looks like also Japanese. Wow. Well, 1,000 pesos. Wow. Well, Stalker, thank you very much for sending these through, my man. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, just a shout out to everybody. So, we've got World Stalker, we've got Rick G Profit Coins, we've got Bill J version 2, and then we've got Gold Washington Pay Dirt. Fantastic <laughs> set of mail I've got here. This is great. Really appreciate um, this array of. Of, uh, of pieces um thank you all very much for watching as well um i'm not sure if everyone will make it this far but it's, it would be interesting um so we've uh don't forget to hit up these subs for all these channels i'll put all the details in the description uh wow we're up to 17 minutes thanks so very much for watching and i'll see you all on the next video